Hey, what's going on, Simplifiers? This is Jordan McCullough, and this is Financial Friday, where I'm gonna give you guys kind of a book review on Charles Schwab's Guide to Financial Independence. Okay, three big points I got from the book, all right? And number one is get started now, okay? Compound interest will work in your favor if you give it time. So if you're young, put that money in, and see it grow without even doing anything. All right, so this is compound interest with terrible handwriting. Uh, okay, so what compound interest is, so let's say you invest an initial thousand dollars into your account, you big baller you. All right, so let's say that your interest rate is 10% which isn't unreasonable in certain mutual funds. So 10% of a thousand, that's a hundred dollars. So now at the end of the year, you're gonna have $1,100. Now guess what? Let's say the next year you have the same interest rate, which is not unreasonable. But guess what? Now you're timesing that 10% of $1,100 instead of that 1,000. So now you're gonna have $1,210 even though you've only invested $1,000. So you've gained $210 in two years just because of this wonderful thing called compound interest. Number two, choosing your investment types. There are a bunch of things that you can do. There are stocks, there are mutual funds, there are cash equivalencies, etc. Get out there and get some knowledge about what each one of those are. All right. If you're younger, look at something that's a little more aggressive, something that you can take a little risk with, especially because you have a lot more time to recoup losses. Now, if you're older and you don't have as much time to recoup losses, maybe you're not as risky. Maybe you're a little more conservative, but you got to keep that in the back of your mind. And number three, making that initial investment. That is going to be the toughest part. If you him and haw for days and days and days and never do it, guess what? Your money is just going to be sitting there getting eaten away by inflation. So get out there, make that initial investment, and set up a plan so that you can have payments on a set schedule so you don't even have to think about it. Here's another big thing. Guess what? The market is going to go down. I guarantee it. Charles Schwab guarantees it. Everyone can tell you that. So this is a long-term game here. You're not doing this for the short term. If you're trying to get rich quick, guess what? This is not for you, all right? He says, plan on investing for at least seven years. The great Warren Buffett, he holds onto a stock for a minimum of five years before he sells it. So if that tells you anything, plan on long term. So I wanna announce the winner of this week's 6 a.m. challenge, even though I did not do it. Um, Sorry about that. The winner though is Rachel Johnson. She was able to send in like three days worth of Snapchats where she woke up, I think at like 5.30. So props to her. She's gonna be getting organized tomorrow today. So I wanna thank you guys for watching another episode of Simplify. I hope to see you all on Sunday for Simplify Sunday.